And welcome back to Who Would Win. In this week's Who Would Win, um, we have Shadow King asking the question, who would win the fight? Danny Phantom or Martian Manhunter? Um, now, Martian Manhunter I've done a couple times, once or twice. Danny Phantom is becoming a regular appearance on this segment of sh on the show. I, think I did him versus the Powerpuff Girls versus Pac-Man versus um, Aang versus... Versus like two other people, so I think he's like his sixth appearance on the on the series. Um, just to recap, real quick, Danny Phantom's about a fifteen year old kid. I think he's sixteen by the end of the series. Half ghost, he's got the physiology of a normal human being his age. He's not, he's he's very lanky because he's a teen. Uh, his strength, he can let somewhere in the ten tons area. He can move at least one hundred and twelve miles an hour. Ecto blast, ecto shield, phasing, invisibility, and tangibility. Which is phasing. Uh, cryokinesis, a sonic whale, um, duplication, and a couple other abilities that I'm not got, I don't have right off the top of my head. Martian Manhunter is a Martian in the DCU, excuse me, in the DC uh, universe. Abilities like that, it, super strength that's not quite on par with Superman because of just Superman's natural physiology allowing him to. Continually absorb solar radiation, therefore strength has no clear defined limit. Uh, but strength that is on par without a Superman durability, which fire, which is his weakness, even won't put him down for long unless you like put it, throw him in the sun. Uh, he can literally survive from being a splat on like the pavement and basically reform from that. Capable of phasing, uh, just like Danny Phantom is. Uh, he does have, like, Martian vision, basically heat blast, x-ray vision, things along those lines, capable of flight, and his claim to fame really is his telepathic capabilities, which are among the strongest in the DC universe. Uh, he's capable of, like, putting godlike beings into states of just complete, um, passiveness. So, Martian Manhunter's real claim to fame will be telepathy. Now, a real, real advantage over Danny is durability and telepathy and strength. Now, if uh, these two came to blows, I'd actually think it'd be kind of fun. Like, Danny would think he's just a ghost. Like, I'm not a ghost. I'm a Martian. It's like, Martian aliens don't exist. It's like, uh, yes, they do. <laughs> and they'll have a cute little back and forth about that. And for Danny's like, yeah, whatever, Pog. And then he just blasts, uh, tries to blast uh, Martian Manor. Manor just goes intangible. Just do, 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 do. It's like, ah, see, you're a ghost. And then go Danny goes intangible. Uh, to try to combat him, Marshmallow just goes solid again, just, what? And then Danny goes, <laughs> turns solid again, Marshmallow just grabs him and just hurls him to the ground. Danny comes in again, just goes, tries to cryokinesis, Marshmallow just blasts it away with his Martian vision. Danny throw, tries to throw a punch, and Marshmallow just catches it again, just throws a punch right in his gut. Danny goes flying down. Danny tries to put up a shield as Marshmallow just, whoom, and then Marsh, uh, is about to throw a punch. I'll give Danny some, maybe a little bit of credit. Martian Manners were not going to be going all out in this fight, at least from the early stages, because it's like, he's just a kid. Well, I, I don't want to hurt him. So, Danny's shield maybe holds the first time. Martian Manners just phases through his shield, and he says, okay, this is done. And then just basically knocks him out with a tel telepathic attack. And that's the problem with this pairing, is this type of... I, I get why... Um, this uh, I get I get why someone would choose this fight why Shadow King chose this fight a little bit because there are they do have a couple similar abilities particularly the phasing energy blasts but it's just Martian Manhunter is on tier with the godlike beings of the DC universe but uh, when I say godlike I don't mean like literal gods I mean godlike like Superman is godlike pa Darkseid is actually a new god so he's on that kind of level. Um, Danny is just a super-powered kid. Danny Phantom would probably be more on the lines, if we're talking about superheroes, uh, of, like, a Starfire or something. Actually, Starfire versus Danny might be a better fight, uh, a better matchup. Uh, maybe I'll put that down on the list at some point. I, I don't, I don't actually have the list of the personal ones, uh, that I normally choose. But, um, yeah, um... So, no, I, yes, Danny versus Starfire would be a better fight to match up, anyway. Uh, I don't see a real reason that, a, a real, um, I don't see a real way that, um, 
Danny could take on the Martian Manhunter, if I'm going to be honest. Because Martian Manhunter would not be taking Danny on all out, which is why Danny would last as long as he would in the fight to begin with. Uh, and then Ed Marsh Manor would eventually just, you know, say, mm, yeah, no, you're done, and just shut him down mentally. Because Danny is just a kid. Danny does not have the strongest mental fortitude there is. So, the, the, the Marsh Manor can just take him out with little issue. Um, so, yeah, gotta go 100%. But thank you for the suggestion. I always take suggestions, no matter how mismatched, whatever, because that's that's part of just doing the doing this. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As those who want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We will get to a review of it at some point. An idea for Star Wars to win. Star Wars Superhero Magic. What if anything I do on the channel? Put that in the comments below as well. I will get to that at some point. This week, actually, I will have a video for uh, Magic up tomorrow because tomorrow's my day off. Um, based because they showed a little bit of uh, Heroes of Dom, not Heroes, just Return of Dominaria. And, um, like, they, not a tr they didn't start previous season yet, it doesn't start until the 21st, but they did show a card, a specialized card, because there was a whole big leak that happened a little while ago, and I did see a little bit of it, but honestly, I forget most of it, so that's, like, the key points, uh, and besides that, I don't, don't want to spoil myself, I'm going to be honest, but there is a card they showed yesterday, and I will be doing a video on that, um, anything else that I'm going to do tomorrow? Honestly, I do not know. Anyway, but we'll find out. Uh, and um, another who would win on Wednesday. Tomb Raider on Thursday. Um, Dragon Ball Super uh, sat uh, Saturday and Sunday is box office. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time, folks.